This ain't, um, is this what he's telling us about? Yeah. Hey. Hey. I thought you said you knew your way around these parts, huh? Paul, you see he's in pain. What that is? Hmm? Mud. That's all it's here. Mud. Sick and mad! Oh, stop it! I'd leave him alone! Dumb! Hey! You put your hands on him again, and I'll cram a pound of that mud down your throat. Look, uh, he said there'd be water here. So we'll find some closer to the hills. Bandage too tight? Stop worrying about me, B. We'll stay here tonight. You'll make it better by morning, Ruth. I'm not making it. Oh, you go on. We're not leaving you. Stop talking like that. Why don't you just go pour that in the dirt? He makes sense. Not from the day he was born. Don't cross the hills without water. Turn back. There's no turning back, Reese. We'll be getting on. You're coming with us. I need to water up this next hole. How far are you expecting to go? Now we can reach the hills by nightfall. There's always a good supply there. I often wonder what scouts got paid for. Yes, work, I guess. That's what it looks like to me. They ride out in the morning, ride back at night, and nobody knows whether they've been snoozing all day or not. <laughs> well, one thing, sure, there's not going to be any guesswork about me snoozing on this trip. Me and I talk too much, huh? All right, I'll keep quiet. If that's what you want. Seems to me you're lucky to have somebody along to pass the time of day. That's all I got to say. You want to bet? Bet on what? That that's all you got to say. You really don't want me to talk, huh? All right, you got the quietest companion this side of uh Oh. Looks like you made the same mistake we did. Couldn't be any drier. Don't make any moves, Charlie. We're covered from the brush. Throw that rifle down. Drop your gun belts. He means dropping today. Are you mind explaining what this is all about? Step down. See how much water they got. Who's the supply intended for? Wagon train to the east. I guess you had someplace else in mind when you found this hole dry, hmm? Well, maybe you got a question to answer first. Nine barrels, not a drop. But these are almost full, Uncle Lee. Put them with ours, huh? I guess it's obvious we have a problem with the law, so you can save any other questions. Bring some rope, Josh. Let's hope the Almighty's good to him. Huh? After we bury him, you can show us that next water hole you had in mind. Aren't you taking a lot for granted that I had anything in mind? You didn't cart all these barrels over here to take them back empty. But for your sake, I hope you did have something else in mind. 
Because that's where your next mouthful of water's coming from. Only kind he ever had. He was a good man, a good husband. Mr. Smith, if you give us any trouble, you're gonna ride slung onto his belly. What about my friend? You're gonna leave him tied like that? We'll make some arrangements. Paul, let's move out. Okay, John, a few minutes. is quite a problem. We can't have you traveling along with us. Trouble enough keeping an eye on your partner, and we can't chance you returning to that wagon train. You're not going off and leave me tied up like this, are you? I wouldn't last a day out in this sun. There's no turning back for us, Mr. Wooster, my party and myself. We have to go on. We're uh, riding a grease trail, you might say. I imagine during your lifetime you've been on the same road. Maybe. I realize this is no consolation to you, but I'm sorry it has to be this way. No! <laughs> I was wondering how I'd handle that. dead back in town, Reese, now an old man. It was all supposed to be so easy. No, B, no. We never thought it would be easy. Take his horse to him. Charlie! Every one of them. So help me God. Be patient. You 
things might go your way yet. about him, Mrs. Smith? It's been a dry year. I heard there's always a little water close to these hills, dry or not. When we get into the hills, you think the water situation will improve? I doubt it. I want to make something clear, Mr. Smith, right now. You see women here, so maybe you don't think we'll use extreme measures at pressed. You couldn't be more wrong. We may look like farmers. In fact, we are, more or less. But back in Indian Creek, there's a bank vault empty and three men are dead. Now, we didn't count on the shooting. In fact, there'd be lots of things we didn't count on, like the problem of what to do with your partner. Now, one thing I want to make clear. We're people who struck out for something better, and whether we like it or not, we have to follow through. We intend getting to Mexico. If we don't get there, you don't. And if I don't, are you going to take the time to bury me? Once at the border, we don't have any reason to harm you. You go back, we'll go on. You may not believe Mrs. Dressen on that point, Mr. Smith. But I'll make you promise. The next water hole we come to is dry. We'll take the trouble to bury you. Right up to your neck in it. And with some luck, maybe you get some rain. All right. Let's move out, huh? I've taught you about making stew, you still make it taste like something with autumn. Too much salt, not enough flour in the gravy. Day old might help it, but day old stew helps itself, you know. Well, it's just what it is, Charlie, day old stew. It's the same stuff you made yesterday. Oh, that just goes to show you that crease on my head did something to my taste buds. Yeah. Charlie, I've never seen anything like it. Somebody upstairs must have been washing out for you. That's for sure. But the first one of you start calling me hard-headed, Charlie, better have somebody up there watching out for you, too. Well, I... Learned a few things from that Indian Creek wagon that joined us this morning. Seems like there was a bank robbery up there away last Monday. Killed a sheriff and two deputies. Guess what shocked them the most was it was pulled off by people they talked to every day. Was women involved? Yeah. Inside the bank after it closed, talking business with the manager. Last thing in the world they expected was for two women they'd known all their lives to pull guns and let their men in. But I understand the scheme was cooked up by a couple of neighboring farmers who weren't doing too well. Well, that one they left at that mud hole wasn't doing too well, I'll tell you that. Barney? Yes, sir? Go on down the line and tell Donovan to stay circled up. Keep an eye on things. We'll send him back water later. Right. What I can't understand is what they're doing this far south. All the posses are looking for them north of Indian Creek. Charlie, you want to bandage on that crease? I want nothing except start out looking for Coop. The first water hole he leads that gang to, they'll have no more use for him. And they're heading straight for the border, too. Well, you can depend on Coop not leading them to any water hole. All right, they get thirsty and mad enough to be the same thing. And I doubt if Coop's going to be as lucky as old Charlie was. Charlie, I hate to ask you, but if you could go with us, we'd save a lot of tracking time. You'd take us right to those hills they were headed for. The head's all right, isn't it? Head? I got the hardest head What did you say? None of your business. I feel just fine. Give me my hat and let's go. It's 
seems about the only fella happy here is this fella. Is that right, fella, you happy? Hmm? I bet you know what you're thinking. You're thinking the posse can't be too far behind not to see this fire. Is that what you think, fella? Well, well, just so you don't get your hopes up, we spent a whole week beforehand handling the trail north of town. You know, old fires, bits of grub, tracks, plenty of tracks. And we, uh, and that was a real smart idea, Mr. Barton. Real smart. But that posse still go around in circles. They'd have circled back by now. Two day edge is what we got, no more. I, uh, still think we should have headed for California instead of the border. Hey, if we get below that border, we can do some sleeping nights. Instead of wondering how far behind the law is. <laughs> Let us in on the joke, Mr. Smith. You're the joke. All of you. Below the border, sleep at nights. I can tell none of you have been to Mexico before. Else you wouldn't be taking your women with you. We're buying a ranch. We're not living in no border town. Every American that takes stolen money across the border has the same idea. Buy a ranch. Live in the shade of a big hacienda. Let the Mexicans do the work. You think the Mexicans are fools? You think for a hundred miles around you won't be branded as banditos? I don't know why you're hiding out. Everything you buy will cost you three, four times as much. They'll figure you can cross the border and pull another robbery any time you go broke. There won't ever be another robbery. Well, then you gradually go broke. The only jobs you'll find will be for your women. Cantina's got a big need for women. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> you'll be right at home, won't you, honey? Hold it. You mentioned my sister once more like that, and I'll blow your head off. I said, hold it! Now, you listen to me, Paul. Close. I staked everything on land in some place I could make a life. If anybody gets in my way, anybody, I'm grinding them right under my heel, you understand? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look, I was just... Making a joke is all. That's all. Your jokes aren't funny, Paul. What are you doing with that? Huh? I uh, just figured on counting it. You've counted it enough. The amount isn't changing. Look, I, I just don't see why we can't all have our own shares, so. Thirty thousand dollars is big money if it stays in one piece. We divide it and we go back to dirt farming instead of ranching. That was a big mouthful of advice you had on what to expect south of the border, Mr. Smith. You suddenly got our welfare in mind? Might be I've got my own in mind. There's water at the end of Echo Pass. Echo Pass? Just west of us. Yeah. West we head in California. I never heard my husband speak of a past west of here. Brees Dresden was an army scout in his younger days. He never mentioned a route to the west. Anything stopped us from going south. Could be. He figured it was too rough for the women to cross. I'm not going to work in no saloon in Mexico. I'm never going to work in a saloon again. It makes me feel crawly doing it. After what we've been through, none of us is working any place we don't want to work. The money we've got can't give each of us what we're looking for. We may as well give up right now. B. That wagon scout made good sense. Reese was the one who swung the boat for Mexico. Just how set are you now for going down there? Without Reese, one place is like any other. Would you feel any differently about things with me? Well, I'd need more time, I... 
Reese was a friend for a good many years. But I don't mind telling you, I've thought about you for a long time. Well, I have a lot of respect for you. Well, that's a good beginning. I've always had a quarrel with Reese about crossing the border. Because that's the first thing they'd expect us to do. If we had any trouble settling down in Mexico, we'd be limited in which way we could move. But from California, we could move all the way up to the Canadian border. Now, I'm not saying this is a right move, but I think it's a wiser one. But he says women can't get through this Echo Pass. No, he said it's hard for them to get through. You making a definite statement that there's water at the end of the pass? Seems like I'm staking my life on it. You are. Begins here. Cuts due west. You're not riding country. And the horse will agree with you on that. My backside will be worn out going through places like this. We'll be slow to a walk through these hills. So will anybody else following. I still don't see what you have to gain by being so obliging. Maybe I'm thinking that between here and California, we can make a deal. A little share of that money would be better than a bullet in the back. Mister, I don't believe you'd take a dollar of it. I said it'd be better than a bullet in the back. He'd kill every one of us if he could. Yeah. His partner's still on his mind. But he'd be a very stupid man not to prefer a few dollars in his pocket to a bullet in his head. Which is he getting? Do we have a choice? One mouthful, every time we stop. What about him? Well, I wouldn't want to take away Mr. Smith's incentive in uh, getting us through the pass quick as possible. I wish I was, Mr. Dressen. In San Francisco with that drummer. Josh wouldn't let me go with him. The drummer, I mean. Said he didn't mean well by me. Josh said it. Well, I can think of a few places I'd rather be right now. Like back teaching school before you met Mr. Dressen? No, I wouldn't settle for a classroom. Well, if Reese were alive, maybe it wouldn't make any difference. All right, let's move out. Well, 
probably cut across less than two miles from here. No sign of any tracks headed back this way. I told you, who wouldn't lead him to no water? He's got more sense than that. Wondering to me that horses didn't smell it this close by. Barney, you think you could round up those wagon horses and get those water barrels over this way? Sure, no trouble, Mr. Chris. If you get them, Phil will take them back to the wagon train. You can follow our tracks back. Don't try any shortcuts. Wait a minute, you mean I'm not gonna go looking for Coop with you? Very important to get that water back to the train. I think you're just trying to get rid of me in case there's some shoot. It's a man-sized job, Mr. Chris, round up them horses by oneself and get that wagon back over here. I better go along. Even a man, I mean, I mean a boy can get lost too, you know. Especially if a dust storm comes up and covers the tracks. Look, there's no chance of me getting lost. I Think you can handle those barrels with that back of yours, Charlie? I wouldn't want you to throw it out again. Well, I'll never know till I try, Mr. Chris. All right, all right, I'm going. Mr. Smith, come down here. Now I'll bet, I'll bet he did that on purpose. You aren't doing too good even with your hands free. Oh boy, now we're gonna have a real big job rounding up them horses. Mister, from this point on, you're walking. We'd have to leave the horses at the midway point anyway. Just be a waste of time rounding them up. You never said anything about leaving horses. Well, there's a couple of slopes worse than this one. Well, that's stupid. We can't go on without horses. And you can't get through this pass with them. We can get horses on the other side. There's farms there. Well, farms mean law. Well, you got plenty of money, don't you? That ought to solve all your problems. No wonder Reese never mentioned this pass. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Smith? I told you it was going to be rough. We carry only what's essential. What's left of the water goes in two canteens, and I'll lug it. Make packs out of the blankets. Uncle Lee, my ankle feels squashed. Well, the splint is all we can do for you now, Josh. I got one final word for you, Mr. Smith. Any more surprises, and we're going to spend an entire night listening to your screams. Never in my life have I said a word I don't mean. Now you take it from there. All right, let's hustle it, huh? We won't stop tonight, so... By your calculations, that should put us at the end of the pass by noon tomorrow, right? The pace he's going, you can double that time. They're turning west. Well, it doesn't make sense, Chris. Well, there's a pass through here, ain't there? Echo Pass. 
furnace in the daytime. Well, if that gang got through, they're in California now. Charlie Echo Pass doesn't go anyplace. First people that came through here called it a pass. After they got in this spot, they found out they'd have to be a mountain goat to get over the west slope. You think Coop knows that? Certainly. It's obvious the others don't. Discover they're in a box canyon. Coop's game will come to an end. Set all the way through. You say we still got scaling to do? A fair amount. I think uh, Josh will have to fend for himself. And for himself? We still got ourselves to think about. If we keep stopping every 10 minutes, we won't get out of here. But he needs some help over places. Josh? May as well get used to making it on your own. What does that mean? Well, it means we don't intend rotting here just because you can't keep up. Well, when Reese got shot, you didn't just cut him off. We had horses then, Vera. You got the right to stay here if you want. You know, that's real sisterly love, isn't it? That's enough. Let's get on. You're leaving me? And, and without water? Let's move out. Maybe you can catch up, Josh. You're leaving me water. I gotta have water and my share of the money. I, I can see leaving me, but I want my share of the water and money. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. We have no trouble getting horses. We'll come back for you. You should have quit while you were ahead. Now you don't even got a gun. Uncle Lee? You take good care of Vera. Sure. You hear? I want to take real good care of that sister of yours. I'm kidding. I mean, I'll see she stays out of saloons and all, huh? You got no worries, Josh. I'm gonna take real good care of that sister. here by noon? Be more like tomorrow noon. Keep dragging our heels like this. Yeah, we should have left them women back there with Josh. You ever give any thought to just you and me going on alone? Huh? Mind of yours. Always working, isn't it? Huh? Well, that water he's carrying. Only last a few hours, you keep dividing it up. Between you and me, there wouldn't be any guesswork. Yeah. Sure like to get your hands on a little of that water, wouldn't you? I'd like to get him on some of that money, too. Thousand dollars would suit me. A little stake in California. The rest of that 30,000 would just set you up right. I think it over. Mm -hmm.
That's all she's been doing. B? I, I hate to do it. I'll leave her some water. Uh, just hold on a second. Now, I got something to say about that water. thought any about what I said. Now, he may not look it, Lee, but he's real good with that gun, you know. There'll be a time and a place up ahead. Maybe when he's using his hands to climb. What's going on? I'm sorry, but that edge we have over a posse is being whittled down. No! Oh, God, no! Don't leave me, Uncle Lee! You said we'd stay together. You said it, you did. We have to make changes as we go along. Tell him, B. He can't leave me here. He can't. B. Hey, don't me. You can't leave me here. You can't. <laughs> Please don't leave me. Please. Never did have any backbone, you know? Your brother's about five miles back. Maybe you can get to him. And die with him? Is that what you're saying? You promised you'd take care of him, Cookie. Vera, when the situation changes, you've got to change with it. Like you changed when we left Josh behind. There was a time you couldn't have done that. You know, I can see us going through this whole thing again with the other one. Listen, I'll be, uh, be waiting for that time and place you mentioned, you hear? I'd have haunted you a long time ago. Here. More than you've done for me. It's a good thing I'm a man that lets bygones be bygones. You've got our horses. Horses can't travel up here. They can't on the rocky ground you people have been using. But he said... No sense following them. They clear through the pass by now. Well, nobody's going through this pass. Your friends are riding into a blind canyon. Come on, put your foot in there. If that's the case, mister, your scout won't last two seconds after my uncle finds out. All right, move out. All right, go on. <laughs> Get a better time. Huh? The head of the pass is less than an hour away. Look at him. All right, now you keep your hands right in them rocks. All right, now pass me that saddlebag. You haven't got the brains to make it alone, Paul. Come on, come on, pass me that saddlebag now. All right. I'm uh, willing to be reasonable. How much of it will satisfy you? Look, look, I'm not going to tell you again. You pass me that saddlebag. Lee, don't. The 
Looks like we owe you. <laughs> there are only two of us left now. You're the only one who means anything to me, B. This is the last of it. Take it. Easy. I'm afraid of him. Just wait till we get to the end of the pass. And you can stop worrying about him. Three, two to go. through here. Two of us are left. You figuring on finishing alone? I never said it'd be easy. You never said all of us would be dead. You got here, didn't you? What? Around the bend. B? Behind the rock, behind it. <laughs> the end of Echo Pass. He said he'd take us to the end. <laughs> he didn't lie. There's water here, but we can't get to it. It's just everything he promised. I'm giving him everything I promised. Your 
keeping a lady waiting. And what'd it get you, huh? You. At the cost of your hide. You're the one that's paying with your hide. Mrs. Dresson. It stands to reason I didn't come into Echo Pass to die. There's water here. <laughs> How many times do you expect us to buy a pig in a poke? There's water here. You heard it. I don't think you can find it without my help. Unless you had a week's time and enough shovels to wear out. You expecting a deal at this point, huh? I can send you out of this pass. With water and the money in those saddlebags. I won't help you. I'll go my own way. I'll leave it to the law to handle you eventually. Water and the money. And all you have to do in return is put a bullet in him. Mrs. Dressen is gonna be my wife, so you keep your mouth shut. She's gonna be nobody's wife. Her bones are gonna rot right here. Unless she turns that gun on you right now. The money and the water, B. You'll be doing the same thing to him that he'd do to you if you had to make the same choice. B, we'll manage, honey. Don't worry, we'll get out of here. You're pointing that gun at the wrong man, Mrs. Dressen. B, you're tired, honey. Give me that gun. Let that woman kill that man. Well, they'd have been at each other's throats sooner or later. Hey, you know something, Charlie? I just happened to think. You're the first man I ever met that had a head so hard bullets bounce off. <laughs> All right, go ahead and call me hard head. I didn't expect it. There ain't nothing wrong with having a hard head, Charlie. Is there? Hmm, not particularly. As long as you don't use it for thinking, Charles. Go ahead and pick on me. I'm defenseless. All right, Charlie. You keep making stew like this, I promise I'll never call you a hard head again. Good, ain't it? Two day old stew. Kind of a way I have with stew. Well, it's, uh, it's not two days old, Charlie. I just made it this morning. Oh. Sure is surprising where that boy picked up my good cooking habits, ain't it? <laughs> it is a bit salty, but I don't hurt it none, does it? 